Yes. Hi guys, thanks for coming back. Hope you're good. Few points about Mahashiyashi. You know, we did few videos about Mahashiyashi, but you can always go deeper. So look, when you pivot, number one point, don't pivot to the whole foot. F firm. Yes, the whole foot is touching the ground, but the pressure is more to the ball of the foot. See, more to the ball. Right? The whole foot touch, but don't on the ball. Whole foot touch, don't on the ball. Now, one more point. Look, when you, that's actually the main point for today. I see a lot of people pivoting, but not avoiding the center line. You see, if, if I run reverse punch, I pivot, but I'm still in this attack line. That's why you want to do two things. Either you pivot and slide. See, look, pivot and sometimes slide. Control is from here. Right, but the connection to flow, mostly ball of the foot. Pivot, slide, oh, oh, you can make a tiny step, slide. So that's a look if you're answering in front of me. So if reverse punch, I slide, slightly if I need to. I slide this bar, bar, and get the right distance for. Sometimes I don't need to. Bar. See, now I just pivot, and that was enough. Right? Oh, step, bar. Right? But make it one motion. In the case of step, pivot, don't make it one, two. So let's see it. From this thing, step, bam, bam, right, oh, slide, bam, right, and again, sometimes just without moving your foot is enough. In any case, I want my front foot pointing to his center, and then front foot pointing to the center, right, even if I step, front foot, because now I'm set for the next counter. As I pivot, I get my right, the right direction for the counter. Okay, so practice those things. Number one, make sure you, as you twist around the center line, there's a slight shift of the midline. If you need to, you slide, bam. Other option is a little step and pivot. Yes, don't back up, because then you give your opponent space to follow you. Okay, that's good for today. Please practice. Us.